Hello students, under the topic canonical form, now here we are going to deal with the elliptic type of equation. Now here we have a question, reduce the following equation to a canonical form. So the given equation is uxx plus x squared uyy is equal to 0. In our previous lectures, we learnt about hyperbolic and parabolic equations. Now here we are going to learn about the elliptic type, type of equation. But how to identify that the given equation is of what type is what we are going to see now. First of all, we have to compare the given partial differential equation with the standard partial differential equation. That is this. We have to compare with this equation and then we have to find the values of A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So let us do that now. So... I have marked the given PDE as equation 1 and we are comparing this with the standard PDE. The coefficient of uxx is capital A and here capital A is equal to 1. So first we write that. So A is equal to 1. And then we do not have the term uxy. So the value of B is equal to 0. And then we have uyy whose coefficient is x squared. And so here the coefficient of uyy is C. And so therefore the value of c is equal to x square. And we do not have the terms ux, uy and u. So all the that is d, e, f and g. All these are equal to 0. So first of all we have identified uh, the values of a, b, c, d, uh, d, e, f and g. Now after this we have to classify this, this equation 1. That is next step is we have to find the value of b squared minus 4ac and we have to check this value so if you see the value of b squared minus 4ac is equal to the value of b is 0 so 0 minus 4 multiplied with a is 1 and c is x square and so this becomes minus 4x square so this is the value of b squared minus 4ac if we observe here, the value of, that is here we have x square, which is a square term. So whatever the value of x is, that is whether positive or negative, anyhow we, are, we have a square here and it will turn out to be a positive value only. And so here we have a negative value. So when we see uh, this total value becomes negative and so it is lesser than 0. So now uh, this becomes a negative value incomplete. So therefore already we saw that when if b squared minus 4ac is lesser than 0 then it will be of elliptic type only. So the given partial differential equation is of elliptic type. So we should write that. So therefore the given PD is elliptic. After this the next step is we have to find the characteristic equations. So for elliptic type already I have said that the characteristic equations are these two. So we have to find these two now. So let us see that now. So I have taken and I have written the characteristic equations here. So first characteristic equation is dy by dx. Now we have to substitute the values of b, a and c in this. Already we have obtained the values of, that is the value of b is 0. So here it will be 0. Then minus square root of b squared again 0 minus 4ac. So 4 multiplied with 1 and uh, c is x squared. So uh, x squared divided by 2a so 2 multiplied with 1 so this is dy by dx so therefore that is equal to minus square root of minus 4x squared divided by 2 so now this this will be equal to this is an imaginary number because we have square root of minus 1 and so it will be minus i and the square root of 4 is uh, 2 so 2 multiplied with square root of x square is x divided by 2 so this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled and therefore dy by dx is equal to negative i x so this is the first characteristic equation in a similar way using this we will find the second characteristic equation so dy by dx will be equal to so b is 0 so square root of again b is 0 so b squared is 0 minus 4 a is 1 c is x square divided by 2 multiplied with 1 and so that is equal to 
now if you see uh, it is square root of minus 4 x squared divided by 2 and again we here have here minus so it will be i imaginary number and square root of 4 is 2 and square root of x squared is x divided by 2 and this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled and therefore the characteristic equation that we obtain is dy by dx is equals ix so the first characteristic equation is negative ix and the second characteristic equation is ix so we have obtained the two characteristic equations so now the next step is we have to integrate these characteristic equations this is the first characteristic equation so first we will rewrite it so dy will be equal to negative ix dx so now what we will do we will multiply with i throughout so this will become i dy equal to minus i squared x dx so that i dy will be equal to already we know that i squared is minus 1 so minus into minus will become plus and this will be x dx the next step will be we can rewrite this equation as x dx taking this to the other side will become minus i y is equal to 0 now we will um, i mean dy here and now we will integrate so integral of this will be what is integral x dx it is x squared by 2 minus i the integral of dy is y is equal to c1 so this is the first uh, equation that we obtain after integrating the characteristic equation so therefore eta will be equal to x squared by 2 minus i y so we have obtained the value of eta in a similar way we have to apply obtain the value of xi so let us see that now so now the next one is dy by dx is equals ix so we can rewrite this as dy is equals to ix dx now multiplying with i on both the sides we get i dy is equals i squared x dx the value of i squared we all know that it is negative 1 so it becomes negative x dx so bringing this to the left hand side this term becomes i dy plus x dx is equal 0 now integrating on both the sides we get i y plus x squared by 2 is equals c2 so therefore the value of xi will be equal to x squared by 2 plus i y so we have obtained the value of xi and also the value of eta now since we are dealing with the elliptic equation we know that we have to introduce a second transformation so now let us introduce a second transformation the second transformation is given by alpha equals xi plus eta divided by 2 and the other transformation is beta which is equals xi minus eta divided by 2i so let us do that so alpha will be equal to what is xi this is what we have obtained so let's substitute that so x squared by 2 plus i y the whole divided by 2 i mean uh, uh, this is xi and we have to do uh, plus eta eta is x squared by 2 minus i y the whole divided by 2 so plus i y and minus i y gets cancelled and in the numerator we get here we have here x squared by 2 plus x squared by 2 which is x squared so x squared divided by 2 so therefore the first transformation is alpha which is equal to x squared by 2 now the second trans another i mean um, uh, this tra beta the transformation for beta will be equals so it is xi so the x squared by 2 plus i y minus eta so it is x squared by 2 minus into minus plus i the whole divided by 2 and so that will be equal to this and this gets cancelled so i y plus i y is 2 i y so 2 i y divided by 2 so 2 and 2 gets cancelled and so that will be equal to i y so therefore this transformation beta is equals i y so we have obtained alpha equal to x squared by 2 and we have obtained beta equals i y i mean i forgot to write i here so in the denominator we have our 2 i right 
because here we have 2i. So this will be divided by uh, i. So i and i will get cancelled and we will get only y. Therefore the transformation beta is equal to y and alpha is equal to x squared by 2 and beta is equals to y. So this is what we obtain. The next step is we have to obtain alpha x. So differentiating this with respect to x we get 2x by 2 and so therefore alpha x is equal to x. So this is what we obtain. Now from this we should also obtain alpha y which will be equal to 0. And what will be alpha xx? It will be equal to 1. Differentiating this with respect to x again gives us 1. And then alpha yy will be equal to 0. And then alpha xy will be equal to 0. Because differentiating this partially with respect to y will be equal to 0. And then alpha x square will be equal to x square. And also um, I mean uh, alpha y square will be equal to 0. So th this is all we have obtained. In a similar way we have to obtain for beta. So beta x will be equal to 0. Beta x x will also be equal to 0. And then beta y will be equal to 1. And beta y y will be equal to 0. And then beta x y will be equal to 0. And beta x squared will be equal to 0. And beta y square will be equal to 1. So we have obtained all this. Now we shall substitute everything in the formula. The next step is we have to evaluate all a bar, b bar, c bar, d bar, e bar, f bar and g bar and substitute in the transformed equation for which the formula for a bar is this. So therefore from this a bar will be equal to already we have evaluated the value of uh, a, b and c. Okay, So that we have to substitute here. So this is uh, b. So we will do that. So I have taken and written here the value of a is 1. So 1 multiplied with alpha x square. What is alpha x square? It is x square plus b. The value of b is 0. And uh, obviously alpha anyway whatever it is uh, it will turn out to be 0. So I am writing alpha x alpha y plus the value of c is x squared multiplied with alpha y square. Alpha y square is 0. So these two terms will become 0. So therefore the value of a bar is equal to x square. In a similar way I have calculated b bar c bar everything. So I will just show you that. So I have evaluated b bar here which is 0 and then c bar is x squared and we have obtained uh, d bar to be equal to 1 and e bar as 0. Also we know that f is equal to 0 which implies f bar is equal to 0 and also g is equal to 0 which implies g bar is equal to 0 because f bar is equal to f and g bar is equal to g. Now we have to substitute all these uh, values in the canonical form of the elliptic equation. So let us do that now. So therefore the transformed equation is given by this. We shall substitute all these values in this equation and so we obtain x squared because a bar is x squared u alpha alpha b bar is 0 c bar is again x squared so plus x squared u beta beta and d bar is 1 so plus u alpha and all these values are 0 and so this will be equal to 0. So from this we can uh, write this as x squared u alpha alpha plus x squared u beta beta equals taking this u alpha to the right it becomes negative u alpha and already we have obtained alpha to be equal to uh, previously we got x squared by 2. So from this we get the value of x squared to be equal to 2 alpha. So wherever we have x square we can replace it as 2 alpha. And so here we can see that x square is in common. And so x squared u alpha alpha plus u beta beta is equals negative u alpha. x squared can be replaced as 2 alpha. So taking that to the right we will get u alpha alpha plus u beta beta to be equal to negative u alpha divided by x square but x square is what 2 alpha so 2 alpha so this is the transformed equation that is the canonical form of the given partial differential equation so therefore we have reduced 
the given partial differential equation to a canonical form. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.